So the Holy Spirit is for power. And through the Holy Spirit, we are strengthened. Through the Holy Spirit, you can forgive your enemies. Amen again. Amen. 627 of St. Luke says, Love your enemies. Say it again. Love your enemies. Say it again, please. Love your enemies. Shout with me, love your mother-in-law. Love your mother-in-law. <laughs> Give a clap of praise unto the Lord. You know, somebody told me, oh yeah, Archie, I've forgiven 99 of my business enemies. 99 of them, except one. And she said it in Spanish, una bruja de mi vida. Mi suegra, suegra is mother-in-law. That will give you high blood pressure. <laughs> and that leads us to James chapter 2, verse 10. Now carefully. James chapter say with me, James. James. Chapter 2, James. verse 10. Verse 10. And the Bible and the Word of God says, if you observe the entire law, but you violated one, you are guilty of all. Amen. Si cualquiera guardare toda la ley, pero ofendiere en un punto, se hace culpable de todos. Like I look again. So they have no choice. No? This will sink deep into your hearts. Yet. Not so much because of the language, but because of the spirit of the language. Kung sinusunod mo ang lahat ng batas, pero nilabag mo ang isa, Meaning, if you have forgiven the 99 enemies, and there's somebody there that works in your spirit that you have not dealt with yet, it is as if you have not forgiven the 99. Amen. You are really good. <laughs> come on, come on, come on. not a prayer meeting, Father Archie. <laughs> this is very good business because when your heart begins to be right with the Lord, then, my friend, get ready for the best to come into your life. <laughs> you cannot hide from the Lord and you cannot hide your heart from God. He sees you through and through. Amen? Amen. Is there any connection really with business? What you're talking about? Yes. Absolutely. Yes. Righteousness exalteth a nation, but sin is a reproach to any people. Amen? Amen. Sure. It is a reproach to any people. And when the righteous rule, the people rejoice. But when the wicked takes authority, the people mourn. See, Solomon did all this. He wrote all of them. Not because of his genius, but because of the, the prompting and the unction of the Holy Spirit. When Solomon was asked, what do you want? What do you want me to give you? And Solomon said, wisdom. Ah, God was so pleased. Money you can lose, friends. It can be lost instantly. But wisdom is the principal thing. Amen. 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 When you have the wisdom of the Lord, you have, you have reached the highest point in your life. Money can go. Sometimes your wife can go. Excuse me. <laughs> or husband. As the case may be. Although when you were married, <laughs> you said, Oh, I love you, baby. <laughs> for better, for worse. In sickness and in health. Until death do us part. Now, they have edited it. <laughs> they say, I love you, baby. For better, for worse. In sickness and in health. Until further notice. <laughs> You are trying to edit 
the very world. <laughs> Under further notice. With additional big capitalized only. You are issuing a check. Under further notice. What God has joined together, let no man put asunder. Was he putting a lot of restraints on your capability to make a choice? No. On the contrary, it is the source of freedom. Amen. Amen. It is the source of all the blessings that comes from above. These are what we call the heavenly riches. Don't focus your minds on things that pass. Surely, we need money. We need resources, blessings, of course. And you are so excited to get it. The man upstairs is even more, a thousand times excited to give you all the blessing that your heart desires tonight. Yeah. Yeah. That's the beauty. Just excuse me for my exuberance. I'm just beginning, you know. <laughs> This is, uh, yeah, the food can wait. But, uh, but, uh, this is the food for the soul, friends, that you can have for eternity. And you know what? In the prime finance, I can see, I can see in your eyes, in your spirit, the prime finance will spread like a wildfire. <laughs> like a wildfire, not only throughout the United States of America, but all over. The prime penance is just a means to an end, not an end in itself, as the philosopher will tell us. Not an end in itself. It is just a means towards a greater, more grandiose, more powerful, more lasting focus. And thanks be to God, you are here tonight. You have responded so let it be. I begin to be so excited and to begin to tremble. I've been looking for the unction. I've been looking for, 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 for the anointing inside the church. I did not find it. Just among ourselves. Don't tell others. <laughs> I did not find it. But this is not an accident that we met. This is my second time. My first time was in LA. Actually, it was last year when we had a blessing. In LA, you were only 12. And with the unction of the Holy Spirit, this Catholic priest said, this prime penance will spread like a wildfire, it will expand. That was not Archie saying it, it was the power of the Almighty saying it. Amen. Amen. Okay, get ready. The best is yet to happen. The best is yet to come. Say it please. The best is yet to come. Say it again. The best is yet to come. And that is why he says, I'm telling you the truth. I'm not yet through with 14, 12 of, of, uh, of John. He says, I'm telling you the truth, whoever believes in me will do what I do. And even greater things than this shall he do because I go unto my Father. Those are not just words. Jesus said, my words, they are spirits and they are life. They are spirit and they are life. When you hear the word, your heart begins to, to, to absorb the Rema, the Rema word. Because the letter kills, the letter of the law kills, but the spirit of the law will give life. And there is so much, there is such a powerful genius within you that you have not been able to, to harness, to tap. And they say that the average human being uses at least maybe 10% of his mind's potential. 